Welcome back to the Woman to Woman broadcast with your host, Pastor Dorothy L. Bell, with Truth That Transform. We are so thankful that God is making a difference in so many people's lives just by the truth. I hope that you receive the truth with joy and that you are blessed today because you know the truth and the truth have made you free. Simply today, our topic is the awesomeness of God. The awesomeness of God. When I think about how awesome God is, how amazing he is, how marvelous he is, how wonderful he is, all the adjectives in the world could not describe what a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God. I tell you, when I think about the awesomeness of God, I just get so so happy in my spirit because God didn't have to do anything, but he loved mankind so much that he did that. So the awesomeness of God. So do you realize that God rules and he reigns by his will, his word, and his works? Think about that. God, the awesomeness of God, he rules and reigns by his will. What is God's will in this book? That you and I live righteous and holy lives before him because of what he did, because of how he allowed his son, because of how he came down through 40 and two generations just so we could have life and have it eternally through his son Christ Jesus. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know about you, but that tells me the awesomeness of God is just so vast, we can't even begin to describe it. I'm just gonna try a little bit, just a little nuggets today to, to help you to realize the God that you serve is far greater than anything else that you're serving. So make sure you serve him first and all the other things will be added unto you. So God rules and reigns, like I said, by his will and his word. If you have this word hidden in your heart, you are on the right track because this word will tell you exactly how awesome the God that we serve is. I, I don't know about you, but the word of God just brings me such joy, such comfort. It corrects me. It cleanses me. It, it just does. It encourages me. It enlightens me. It empowers me. So that's the awesomeness of God's word. It does all those things. Think about what other book you know can do all of that. And don't look for nothing in return. All God wants us to do is to walk upright before him and live righteously before him and holy and obey him. Walk in faith and love. Wow. My, my, my. Oh, I could just go on and on about the rule and reign of God in his word and then his works. What are his works? Mm -mm -mm. God's works are so awesome. Well, we're going to go into the Word of God just to talk about how awesome God's works are. All right, we're going into Psalm 104. I'm not going to read the whole Psalm, but I just want to take out some excerpts to show you the awesomeness of God. Psalm 104. And it starts with verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. O oh Lord my God, thou art very great. Our, he's not just great. Our God, the awesomeness of our God, he's very great. Hallelujah. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covereth thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. That's awesome. God stretched out the heavens like a curtain. Ooh, my, 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 my. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariots. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Who maketh his angels spirits. His ministers of flaming fire. Who laid the foundations of the earth. That it should not be removed forever. My, 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 my. Jesus, what an awesome God we serve. Thou covers it with the deep as with a garment, the water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled, at the voice of thy thunder they hastened away. So I could go on and on, but what I want you to do is when you have a moment 
in your time, spare moment or whatever time you do your studying or meditate, read Psalm 104. It tells you how awesome our God is, what he did, how he did it. And remember Genesis 1, 1, it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He did everything. You know, if you think about it, that's awesome. God spoke everything into existence. The God that we serve, awesome, full of splendor and wonder. I tell you, I'm so excited. You know, I could read the whole song, but I don't have time to do that. I just want you to just take a glimpse and know our God is awesome. And remember the Bible said, he's not just great, but he's very great. My, what a mighty God we serve. I'm excited. I hope that you get excited when you think about all that God has done. Okay, his spirit display, displays his unlimited power. I would say that this demonstrates his awesomeness. Our awesome God is magnif magnificent. Yes, he is. Inspiring, amazing, and wonderful. He's perfect in all of his ways and should be respected and loved. He should always be approached with awe and humility. So don't just approach God any old kind of way. God is awesome. He is, he should be approached with reverence and awe and with humility. Don't go trying to talk to God all huffy and puffy, arrogant, full of pride. God's not going to even entertain that. But know this, when you go to God, remember his will, his word, and his way. We'll be back in a moment. We're going to go for a station break and do our daily diamond. Today's di daily diamond is simply rely. Who are you relying on today? Are you relying on the awesomeness of God? Are you dependent and trusting in Him? That's what you should be doing. Because man will let you down. We, You know, man will say, I love you at 12 o'clock. and 12.01, he hates you. <laughs> we don't want that kind of reliance. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I'm laughing, but this is the truth, you know. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And a merry heart does good like medicine. Because when I think about the goodness of God and the awesomeness of God, I'm going to smile. I'm grateful. I'm happy that I can laugh. I can have joy. I can have peace. Hallelujah. Peace that the world can't give me. The only God can give me that peace. Do you realize that God has given us a covenant of peace? He has ordained peace. Yes, that's who I'm relying on today. I hope you are too. And whenever you, when you rely upon God, you have the best reliance that you can have. I'll put it like that. So whenever you're in distress or you have problems, depend on him and not yourself because he's our awesome God. Simple. That's our daily diamond for the day. Relying upon God. God bless you, family. Come on out on Saturday, August 7th, 2021 for the 25th anniversary of Woman to Woman International Ministries with our very own Pastor Dorothy L. Bell. There will be food, fellowship, and fun. Ticket donations are $75, $65 as a woman-to-woman -woman partner. Married couples are $120. Send your donation to Cash App, dollar sign, one superstar. Again, that's dollar sign, one superstar. Or PayPal at one woman to woman at gmail.com. For more information, call Dr. Brown at 302-377-5984. Again, that's 202-377-5984. Tickets are going quickly. Come on out. Don't delay. we conclude our lesson on the awesomeness of God. You know, I was going to read another scripture, Ephesians 1, 7 to 12, but I'm just going to close this lesson out like this. You know, the awesomeness of God, the awesomeness of God, 
the partnerships in God's purpose. You know, God has a purpose for you and I to partner with him. When I say to partner with him, that means to, to obey his word, to do what he has called us to do. If God said, listen, I want you to do X, Y, Z, don't hesitate. You know, sometimes the flesh really, it don't want to do what God, listen, I'm a witness to that. I'm being truthful, because this is what this program is, truth that transform. Just talked about truth for the inner man. Sometimes it's like, God, I really don't feel like doing this. Oh my good God, please, can I just take a pass? <laughs> That's how I feel sometimes. And then the Holy Spirit just reminds me, no, you have work to do. If you're relying on me, you can do it. So I want to encourage you today, don't give up on God. Always reflect, always examine yourself. Make sure that your motive is right in the things that you're doing. And like I said, a merry heart does good like a medicine. And sometimes I'm like, God, I'm not doing that. I don't feel like it. You know, next thing I know, next half an hour, I'm, I'm doing that and more. So <laughs> God is good. He's awesome. And he gives us the strength. He renews our strength daily. He gives us new hope. He, he restores our soul. As he says in Psalm 23, you know, God is really all. But so he, awesome. He has a purpose for us. So we can look ahead to the glorious hope of life in God, the awesomeness of God. That's his purpose. We can look for that. And we can really look to the glorious life of love. He said, listen, all you got to do is love me with your heart, body, mind, spirit, soul, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. That's what God's purpose is for us, the awesomeness of God. He didn't do nothing real great. Those two things, if we do those two things, I'm telling you, we are living life. We are really, really allowing people to see the awesomeness of God in our lives. So, And then the glorious light of the gospel where God rules eternally. God is light. He's the light of my salvation. Is he the light of your salvation? He's so awesome and I love him so much. Understand that God is. It's not that God was. He's going to be. God is. That's the awesomeness of God. He is. He always was. And he always will be. So rest and be grounded in him. Receive him. Rely upon him. And pursue this awesome God we serve. I applaud you to pursue him. And then go into the word. Remember, his will his word and his work. This is Pastor Dorothy L. Bell. And a lot of people say, why do you use L? Because that's just my guess. That's just, I'm known by that Dorothy L. Bell. So anyway, I want you to, the awesomeness of God, you got to be dedicated to him. You can't help but being dedicated to some guy, a God who's going to do what he does for you and I and delight yourself in him, be directed by him and be diligent for him. Who wouldn't serve a God that gives you all of those benefits. You know he loads us up with benefits daily. Have you received your daily benefit today from the awesome God that we serve? I pray that you have. Remember, you can always email me at onewomantowoman at gmail.com. O-N-E, the number two woman, at gmail.com. And send your donations. Partner with me. $10 seed. That's all. If you want to do more, I appreciate it. But just remember, to sow your seed, pray for me and this ministry, and may God richly bless you, not only today, but the remaining of the time that you and I are here, and really enjoy the awesome God that we serve. Love you.